rinses out very easy. You know, it's it's not something that's real gooey. I mean, have you ever done a treatment where you're like rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and stuff doesn't want to come out of there? Because it's just thick and gooey. And it rinses out real nice. Okay, feel her hair. It's just going to feel nice like normal hair should feel. I mean, usually after you rinse out something, sometimes the hair will feel a little rough, except for a top mm -hmm. way applied conditioner. Yeah, and it feels That slippery. just feels like hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, it better than usually. Does it? Feels better than it yeah. usually does? Okay. Well, yeah. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but really my point is it feels like hair. Usually processed hair doesn't feel like hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rinse it out, it feels like hay, feels like wool. I always realize. have to put like a leave-in conditioner in it. Right, and leave-in yeah. conditioner you should use um, with any any time because the last thing you rinse anything out of your hair with is 7 pH water. So regardless, before you cut anybody, that's more than enough for her head. I'm just doing it because I'm being luxurious and it's Rich's product and not mine. <laughs> Again, I'm going to concentrate on the ends first and then work my way back in. And when we get to the drool, it means I made the tip. I have to relax now. We can let that sit on for two, three minutes. I massage it in for a good solid minute. Take my time, I'll close my product up, and then we'll rinse her out. Why are you so giggly today? Oh, you? You. I just put a conditioner on her hair, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Her hair's like squeaky. Hear it? It's not like a normal conditioner. Normal conditioner, you do that, it's like, mm -hmm. it's real slick. Slick. Uh, but this is just like, it's a moisturizer, it's a hydrator. So we put the hydration in, but it didn't put a topical coat on the hair. Right, got it. It penetrated the... It penetrated into the hair. And put the moisture she needed in there. But it didn't leave a heavy coating on her hair. Right. It goes into the core of the hair. Do it like audible, really audible. I, I, it's actually still too I can flat. hear it. She can hear it, and I can feel it. Kind of like when you do the wine glass thing mm -hmm. and it never works when you want it to. Here it is. Here. Yeah, I hear it. Mm -hmm. So, a normal conditioner, like your normal conditioner you sell your clients, when they take that home, they'll never get that sound. It just right. doesn't happen because your everyday conditioner will leave some sort of a um, topical sealant. So let me ask you this. Are you finding, and I'm sure you have to educate your client at this point because they're going to think it's not working because they're not getting what they're, they're not getting used, that used to feel. Yep. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, and that also brings a level of prestige to the product. Mm -hmm. When you teach your client about what they're going to feel when they're at home, how it's going to work, what they can expect. I mean, but tangles came right out of her hair, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't work hard at all. Yeah. Um, and the fact that it's that clean and the tangles came out of her hair, that's that nine-year-old little girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't really need conditioner on that little girl a lot of times, do you? Mm -hmm. You take them up out of the sink, you towel dry, you go soup, and then, you know, it goes right through the hair. Ooh, now feel her hair. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're just going to put a little AD cream on it, we can finish her. You're actually building a fan. So now at this point, leave-in conditioner is a 4.0 pH, helps close a cuticle. And this puts a little bit of all the chock full of goodness on the hair that stays there and helps make sure that what's in there doesn't come out. Now all of her hair, 
That's it. For all of her hair, that's all I need. And I actually drew the lima bean. You know, it's about the size of a lima bean. And you notice each time I applied to a long hair, where did I go first? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I didn't go. Right. Which is what all our clients do. There we go. The treatment is complete. So whatever price you put on it here at Omni, you know, or I don't know what your setup is if you're booth renters, mm -hmm. uh, but you're still going to have to kind of price fix from one side of the room to the other because you're. Well, you want to have it the same. Yeah, continuity. Mm -hmm. um, the artwork you charge different for. The treatments are, you know, you can teach an assistant to do a treatment. Do a nice good treatment, <clears throat> and this hair is in fantastic condition at this point, and it's all ready for you to style. You know, it's all ready for you to color. It's all ready for you to cut. Now you would apply your color at this point, or tell dryer a little I'd bit more. I tell dryer a little bit. You wouldn't more. put the the, the, the instant or the leave in. Right. I, I get all that. I wouldn't put the leave in on, and I would tell dryer a little bit more okay. before okay. I apply my color. Okay. Maybe even if she's really dripping, and she's not, because the treatment balanced out the moisture right. in her hair. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, I might throw her under hooded dryer for a minute, just to get that excess moisture out. The color is going to slow down your process just a little bit. It's not going to impede the color from penetrating the hair. Okay. Um, Remember, water is 7 pH, so the cuticle is now lifted. Mm -hmm. So color will actually slide into the air a little bit easier mm -hmm. okay. when it's wet with water because so you the pH helps lift the cuticle. So you wouldn't apply that other stuff before? Right. I wouldn't put the DD cream. Yeah. That close the cuticle. So yeah, can we go ahead and dry it? Yeah. Uh, Gina, you want to come here and dry it real quick? It feels incredible. It's very shiny. So how does it feel compared to normal? It's like it's like a hundred percent different. Feel real silky? Yes. Yeah, it feels just like so, silk. Yes. And very, very shiny. So the results really surprised you then? Yes. You know what I'll tell you too? You know, usually when I'm blow drying, you know it's it's mid shaft to ends, it's holding the most moisture, it's the hardest part to dry. Yeah. This seems to be just an even dry too. Yeah, other people have said that their their drying time is cut uh, considerably. Well that's what he was saying earlier about the, the nine year old. Take him from the bowl to the chair, it's almost dry because it's consistent. Yeah, I, mean, I you know I do this hair of this color, so I'm used to feeling this hair. Yeah, and it does feel. You feel a, lot, a difference? A lot silkier, absolutely. And the sheen is, I mean, look, yeah, the sheen's incredible. Feel it? How soft? Yeah, it's great. Yes. I mean, it's so. Yeah, I mean, usually when I dry my hair, I have to put a lot of product in it. I was going to just ask you, yes. did you put any product in this? No. Uh -huh. No, we just did that. Because we just wanted to see what the what right treatment was going to do. Yeah, I always put a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. My hair with a natural curl in it and stuff. Plus, we have to remember, too, so she puts an oil. She scrunches, she def so she puts just about right. everything under the sun and we didn't clarify it either. So imagine how much better it would have been if we clarified it, you know? Open the cuticle up a lot more, strip the hair, and then put it on. Well, one of the things that, I don't know if you mentioned it, uh, but uh, people with fine, thin hair will notice a big difference with this. And you would think it would weigh their hair down, but it actually plumps their hair up and gives them fullness. So think of all your fine hair clients that normally, like a keratin or something, would not be right for them. This would be great for them. Man, I mean, it, it does seem a different tone, too. Uh -huh. It feels soft, that's for sure. That's for sure. It looks shinier. 